Ченков мертвого инверта в Киев. Hi everyone. Um, uh, today we are presenting uh, a new uh, work uh, in, uh, from our cryptographic team that uh, um, is proposing a new type of a uh, tree construction that is uh, going to significantly reduce the overhead of uh, hashing and uh, solve the state storage problem uh, in uh, blockchains. So uh, to start, blockchains uh, are introducing a fundamental shift in uh, storage of data where um, they bring security and transparency and decentralization using, using cryptographic methods uh, to maintain distributed ledger. However, in uh, such scalability is uh, the biggest uh, problem because um, it requires to maintain uh, the ledger uh, on many instances and uh, process large volumes of transactions, leading to bottlenecks and increased costs. Overcoming such uh, scalability is essential for blockchain continued growth, and uh, it's necessary to come up with a new model and architectures to sustain growth. Here we can see that uh, the growth of total unique Ethereum addresses uh, over one year period is uh, quite significant. And if we're looking at the frequency of use, we, uh, we can notice that the number of uh, uh, frequently daily used uh, addresses is quite narrow, representing only 17% of uh, unique addresses that are actively engaged with the network daily, pointing to a high concentration of pattern uh, in pattern activity. This concentration uh, challenges uh, for optimizing the blockchain state management, emphasizing the need for efficient data verification and management strategies to accommodate the network scaling complexities. Our contribution is uh, proposing, we're proposing a new dynamic restructuring algorithm for Merkle trees that enhances scalability and efficiency of blockchain systems by optimizing the verification and storing process, pro processing. And uh, we also extend the applicability of these optimized uh, tree structures beyond traditional blockchains, uh, demonstrating their versatility uh, that goes beyond blockchain. To conceptualize the problem, uh, what we have is in regular blockchain designs, uh, Merkle trees act as a balanced tree. And uh, here you can see that uh, for any frequency of use of the address uh, for any leaf node, the search complexity is averaged out. Um, the problem uh, with this is that for even for high frequently used uh, leaf node, the search complexity is on average the same as for the low frequency used node, which leads to an average out higher, significantly higher computational cost for accessing the data. So the inefficiency really comes uh, from uh, their verification strategy while maintaining the data integrity. And what we are proposing is uh, the adaptive tree that uses the frequency distribution of use uh, and uh, narrows the search complexity uh, for it, thus enhancing the efficiency and scalability of the blockchains. Our adaptive Merkle tree inspired by uh, Huffman encoding uh, prioritizes data based on the usage frequency, placing frequently accessed uh, nodes closer to the root to streamline verification process. By aligning nodes placed uh, placement by, with usage probability, the adaptive structure significantly reduces the path and computational uh, complexity for verifying high frequency data, enhancing efficiency and reducing verification time. Their verification path for high usage nodes, such as node A, like here we can uh, see it, um, designed um, is considerably shorter in the adaptive tree compared to the balanced structure, demonstrating a direct correlation between data access frequency and computational resource allocation. So here we can see that uh, for a node A, which is high, uh, high frequency use, 
we can restructure it to the uh, to be positioned to the higher to the top of the tree, thus reducing the hashing amount of hashing that is required to access the uh, the node. The efficiency of adaptive Merkle trees in comparison to the balance trees, uh, what we see is the average path length is determined in balanced trees is determined by log m of n, where m represents the maximum allowable number of child, child nodes per node uh, or the arity of the tree, and n is count of unique symbols uh, within the alphabet. For the adaptive tree, uh, what we uh, indicate that the average path length mirrors the average length of the Huffman encoding. Uh, calculated as the weighted sum of all code length uh, with the probabilities of the corresponding symbol serving as weights. And here we see uh, a sigma uh, over pi, pi times Ly, Li, where pi, uh, pi is the probability of the ith symbol and Li is the length of the code uh, for the ith symbol. Now, the efficiency of the adaptive tree is theoretically uh, average length of the Huffman code given a specific probability distribution can uh, be derived from the entropy formula. Uh, transforming this assessment into a comparison, in comparison of the complexity of data integrity verification in both the classical balance and the proposed adaptive tree yields for balanced tree, bi for balanced binary tree, the average Merkle path uh, complexity is k uh, prop equals to four, whereas for adaptive tree, the average path length is uh, roughly equals to 3.5, which indicates an efficiency gain of approximately 13%, which is an average theoretical, uh, theoretical um, efficiency. Uh, the gain reflects uh, the, re the reduced average number of hashes uh, required to verify the integrity of the leaf data. And here we're going to uh, show the, uh, the experimental uh, evidence that actually this reconstruction yields even far bigger efficiencies. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'll continue. So our efficiency of adaptive Merkle tree with the Ethereum experiment on Merkle Patricia Tri. So we have evaluated the efficiency of our approach on 100k blocks consecutive of Ethereum blockchain. So for the evaluation, we use simplified model of blockchain where transactions only changes to and from addresses and only mentioned in transaction slot exists. So we have like the block range of 100k. Uh, we have around 31.5 million of transactions. We have three 0.9 active addresses, and the addresses that capture 50% of total activity were around 4K from 3.9 million. Addresses that captured 90% of total activity was 1.6 million. So the percentage of total activity captured by the 50% of the addresses is 92% of all activity that was happened on chain. PNX transaction will introduce new addresses is 9% percent so you can see the efficiency so we expected the average depth of accessed element was calculated using the formulas from the previous slide and sample probability distribution so you can see the number of blocks and logarithmic of number of blocks the results as we use depths of assessed element in tree as estimation of number of hashes needed to calculate the tree cap in our experiment, we calculated theoretical improvement of 27% uh, on 100k blocks. As probability of transaction of new address with the new transactions is much higher than in real Ethereum blockchain, we conclude that the result will continue to improve with additional blocks, and we project that theoretical improvement for the full Ethereum blockchain could be around 42%. So in our small-scale implementation experiments, real improvements was within the 5% of theoretical limit, and we expect it to be even closer for full-scale implementation. So the next part is uh, the algorithm of, for Merkle tree reconstruction. As adaptive tree requires the reconstruction in Merkle tree in order to put the more frequently used nodes higher in the tree and put more uh, rarely used nodes lower. 
the reconstruction of Merkle tree aimed for, to optimize this efficiency of blockchain applications. So the two criteria we have is minimization of average pass length. The deviation between key and H is assessed through the average disparency. So with each element disparency defined as the next formula. So in the second point is that minimization of altered paths. The algorithm should limit modifications to a minimal subset of nodes, reflecting the reality that only a few accounts are activated in any given transaction, including complex smart transactions, like contract addresses and execution of uh, subcontracts. This approach ensures that unactive accounts retain their positions and paths within the tree, preserving the integrity of user data and access pathways. So the input is a tree or a tree fragment with the root, intermediate nodes and leaves. The probability distribution frequencies of these tree leaves is a set of leaves available for reconstruction. A new leaf or a new probability distribution for all three leaves. So the output will be a restructured tree or a fragment of restructured tree optimized according to the criteria of minimizing the average disparency. So we have the next steps of the algorithm. Utilize the set of leaves of leaves available for reconstruction for formulate all possible reconstruction alternatives for the tree. Evaluate the average disparency for each alternative, select the alternative with the lowest average disparency and adopt selected alternative to the, as the algorithm output. So the most challenging aspect of this algorithm is step one, which involves generating all possible reconstruction passes. So you can see here on these examples that like with adding a new leaf, we need to reconstruct all uh, other probabilities, like disparency for all other leaves, and put a new leaf in one of the position. So, like this iteration is shown on this uh, table with first alternative and the second alternative for the same tree with different disparities. So the same is examples is going further when we have a second iteration. We have like in next iterations, and then we have like this more third iteration, fourth, and this is like five to ten iterations. All of them are showing the examples on binary tree, but we also have the examples on the uh, fourth uh, Merkle tree and the Merkle Patricia tree. So this is, um, yeah. And this is the examples of reconstructing Merkle Patricia tree with the new leaves adding and the leaf pair swapping. Uh, I think I'll transfer the word to Alex back for the path encoding in adaptive Merkle tree. So um, to talk about path encoding in adaptive uh, uh, trees is integrating adaptive trees into the Ethereum's uh, framework, it necessitates the departure from understanding that uh, we can use balanced Merkle Patricia tree as the data structure, proposing that in our proposal uh, is the unbalanced tree that aligns leaves based on the frequency of usage, challenging the traditional path encoding uh, method. The new method uh, would alter the deterministic path encoding of uh, addresses, necessitating a novel mechanism that accounts uh, for the dynamic positioning of leaves without disrupting the existing address system. This means that in order to adopt for a uh, balanced Patricia tree uh, structure to, be, to adopt this adaptive structure, uh, what we have to do is we have to attach a new um, dual structure uh, that would effectively not disrupt the uh, existing addresses which are stored in the balance tree, but would have uh, a subsequent new structure at, uh, added to it that would have a dynamic address system. The dual structure system mapping uh, account addresses to their adaptive path encodings emerges as a practical solution to maintain com uh, compatibility, ensuring seamless integration and operational continuity within the blockchain network. This innovative uh, integration promises to significantly reduce verification complexity and costs 
by adapting the, uh, to usage pattern, potentially revolutionizing the way blockchain system manage data integrity and address verification. Uh, here we can see effectively uh, in a more uh, detailed way how, uh, what is the uh, leaf probability distribution and uh, what is the path encoding uh, for balance tree which is average code length is four and for the adaptive three is 3.49 uh, which is uh, effectively 13% more efficient. Um, as Ethereum is moving into the, uh, into a more compressed tree with a, a vertical tree construction, the, we believe that uh, this will, the adaptive tree structure will yield even more savings as the cost of moving from, uh, you know, layer to layer from in the vertical tree is even more expensive. The advent of the vertical tree, uh, trees marks a transformative, uh, transformative advancement in blockchain storage and verification, melting the succinctness of vector commitments with the hierarchical integrity of Merkle trees and address scalability uh, and efficiency uh, challenges. By implementing an adaptive uh, restructuring approach, we can significantly augment the efficiency and scalability of Merkle trees, tailoring their configuration dy uh, dynamically in response to user patterns with, uh, within blockchain systems. Our strategy involves the dynamic adjustment of vertical, tree, uh, of vertical trees utilizing statistical analysis to optimize data uh, organization based on access and update frequencies, thus streamlining verification process. By incorporating uh, Huffman coding principles allows uh, for strategic placement of frequently accessed elements closer to the root, effectively minimizing path length for verification and enhancing overall system performance. Reduce proof size by optimizing the structure of uh, vertical trees to reflect access pattern, we can significantly reduce the size of proofs required to verifying transactions. This is because frequently accessed data can be positioned closer to the root, making it quicker and less resource intensive to generate uh, and verify proofs. Meaning uh, in the vertical trees, as you build the tree and it gets deeper, the size of the proof uh, increases. So by, uh, and the cost of uh, this proof increases with it. Um, enhanced adaptive restructuring can also lead to a more efficient verification process. Shorter paths for frequently accessed data mean that less computational effort is required to verify enhance, uh, to verify transactions, enhancing the overall throughput of the blockchains. Dynamic scalability uh, of blockchain system can evolve so the storage and access pattern of adaptive, with adaptive restructuring allows vertical trees to dynamically adjust to these changes, ensuring that the data structure remains optimized to current usage trends. And uh, by optimizing the path length uh, for data access and verification, this approach can reduce the cost associated with these operations. In blockchain systems where transaction costs are significant concerns such as Ethereum, this can lead to substantial savings uh, for users and applications. Um, through rigorous analysis and examples, we, we demonstrated the efficiency uh, that uh, can be achieved uh, using adaptive Merkle trees. Our algorithm uh, for Merkle tree restructuring, detailed in the, uh, section number five, uh, provides a systemic, uh, systematic approach for dynamically adjusting tree structures, significantly improving upon the static nature of traditional Merkle trees. By extending our concept to vertical trees, we show that uh, how adaptive structure restructuring can be also applied to the most novel uh, tree structures. And in conclusion, uh, we can say that um, we provide a conceptual framework for uh, adapting existing Merkle tree constructions to current blockchain infrastructures and demonstrate through examples the, uh, the practicality and benefits of this approach, notably in the optimizing verification process and cost reduction. Comparative, um, comparing uh, to uh, analysis underscores that adaptive restructuring offers foundational improvement in scalability and efficiency without adding complexity or securing vulnerabilities, distinguishing it from other scalability solutions. 
And uh, in conclusion, the adaptive restructuring of Merkel, uh, of Merkel and Verkle trees marks a significant advancement toward resolving the blockchain scalability challenges, both on the state storage and uh, uh, search complexity and computational complexity uh, for storing and accessing the data, offering a blend of efficiency, security, and practicality, which is crucial for evolving blockchain ecosystems. Thank you. Thank you so much.